Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we'll show you how to set up payments on your login page. First log into your app account, then go to my apps and click on the manage and edit option of your selected app. This will redirect you to our creator software section. Scroll down and go to system pages. Open the login page and here is your login page name. From here you can apply global login into your app. Next comes the content section. Here you will see all the default text and messages that are currently being displayed on your app. If you want, you can edit and update them from here. Now go to payment settings. Here you will see different payment methods such as in-app purchases, PayPal, pay you money, pay fast, Stripe, and free. By default, the free payment method is selected. Now let's check different payment methods. First comes in-app purchases. Click on it. To enable in-app purchases, you need to provide Android and or iOS payment credentials. You can follow our tutorial on how to activate in-app purchases to get Android payment credentials such as monthly subscription package ID, yearly subscription package ID, and one-time payment product ID and public key. To get iOS payment credentials like monthly subscription package ID, yearly subscription package ID, and one-time payment product ID, you can follow our tutorials on how to activate in-app purchases from the iTunes store. Now enter the monthly, yearly, and one-time payment price that you want to charge your users and select the appropriate currency. Next comes the PayPal payment method. Enter your PayPal ID here and you can follow our tutorial on how to set up your PayPal IPN notifications to easily get your PayPal ID. Now enter the monthly, yearly, and one-time payment price that you want to charge your users and select the appropriate currency. Let's now move on to the next payment method, pay you money. Here you need to provide the merchant key and merchant salt. You can follow our tutorial on how to get your pay you money, merchant key, and merchant salt live credentials to easily get these credentials. Now enter the one-time payment price that you want to charge your users and select the appropriate currency. Next comes the PayFast payment method. To add this payment method, you need to provide a merchant ID, merchant key, and pay passphrase, which you can get from your PayFast account. Now enter the monthly, yearly, and one-time payment price that you want to charge your users and select the appropriate currency. Last but not least, Stripe. To enable this payment method, you need to provide a live published key and live secret key, which you can obtain from your Stripe account. Now enter the monthly, yearly, and one-time payment price that you want to charge your users and select the appropriate currency. Once done, click on save and continue. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.